Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Lake YouTube channel. This is Ravindra. In this video, I'm going to give you more information about Microsoft Fabric. So a lot of data engineers are having a lot of questions on what is exactly Microsoft Fabric. Is that going to remove data engineers or is that need more data engineers? So that I'll give more information about on Microsoft Fabric. So before moving on Microsoft Fabric, first I'll give you information about Databricks Lakehouse architecture. So Databricks is providing an end-to-end -end solution for data warehousing projects, nothing but Lakehouse plus advanced analytics. For that, they have a separate components for data engineering, separate components for BI and SQL analytics, separate components for real-time applications data processing, or analytics, then data science and machine learning. So backend data, it is going to store in a data lake. It may be any of these data lakes. So which it can store support for multiple types of data, structured, semi-structured, unstructured, then real-time data also, that is streaming. Real-time data processing, data engineering, data science and machine learning, BI and SQL analytics. So this combination, which available, in Databricks, so they are providing a Lakehouse architecture with end-to-end -end solutions. Just tell, uh, if you go to the Databricks workspace, you can find a uh, data science and data engineering. So where we can use a uh, Spark with a uh, PySpark or uh, SQL languages, we can go for data engineering and data science. Then separate machine learning, then separate SQL analytics where we can write SQL queries and we can create a dashboard. So if you go to new UI, so entire uh, these solutions they are giving in the same page in the left side, if you look at this, data science, data engineering. Okay, so BI and SQL analytics, then real-time Delta live tables for real-time data processing and real-time uh, pipelines machine learning so databricks is go providing end-to-end -end solution for lakehouse projects right similar way microsoft is providing end-to-end -end solution for lakehouse projects that is microsoft fabric but when you are using a search google search remember don't search with a uh, azure fabric Azure Fabric services are different, which is old services, container-based services, they are doing that. That is different. So whenever you search in a Google, don't search Azure Service Fabric. This is different. So you are looking at the wrong window. So what we need to look? Microsoft Fabric. Microsoft Fabric. So if you go to this Microsoft Fabric, so there they are providing complete information about this Microsoft Fabric. Bring your data into era of AI. What exactly this? And how we will get benefited? And what are the services they are providing for Lakehouse architecture? So this is the home page of uh, Azure Fabric, like Databricks home page. So this is the home page. So same home page, you can find Power BI, Data Factory, Synapse Data Engineering, Synapse Data Science, Synapse Data Warehouse, Synapse Real-Time Analytics. If you're already working on Azure Synapse Analytics, they're having multiple pools, Spark pool, serverless pool, SQL pool. Okay, so the same thing which they are integrating here, Azure Data Factory they are integrating, Power BI they are integrating, Synapse Data Engineering, nothing but, so Synapse Spark pool, Synapse SQL pool, Synapse Explorer, so real-time analytics, they are integrating everything in Fabric. So where you can find this? So the down you can find the Fabric icon. So here you can find the complete information about Power BI, Data Factory, Data Engineering, Data Science, Data Warehouse, real-time analytics. Whatever Databricks is providing a Lakehouse architecture, so the one lake concept, so they are providing all these tools integration, end-to-end -end integration for Lakehouse architecture, they are providing here. Power BI integration, data factory integration, data engineering, 
so synapse mainly spark code let's start with the first data engineering so we can create a new workspace there's an option called creating a workspace where we can create a lake house and uh, notebooks spark pool and other things then data factory data science related data models data warehouses okay so everything which you can create here data fabric is not going to replace data engineers they need more data engineers they need more PySpark developers synapse analytics as of now most of the people are using a sql based but when it comes to fabric same notebooks enhanced notebooks plus more PySpark. even sql also you can use more PySpark. so if you are already working in databricks the same skill set you can apply here so there's spark sql PySpark in databricks so here also you can use a PySpark skill set even t sql also you can use and kql also you can use which is crystal language so one leg concept one leg concept so that one leg where we can have all the data in one place where we can have all data in one place this is the pools may be serverless pool spark pool t sql t sql endpoint so the serverless pool serverless compute spark pool spark compute t sql compute k sql compute analysis service so that may be synapse data warehousing synapse data engineering data factory synapse data science synapse real time analytics power bi the backend data is going to store in data lake maybe in parquet format maybe in warehouse maybe in delta format lake house in data bricks is delta format so here also you can store in delta format as a lake house or a data warehouse or a native format like csv or other formats or mainly data sets will use parquet format delta or parquet format or another one is crystal db end-to-end -end solutions they are providing so that service name or product name we can call it as microsoft fabric microsoft fabric is end-to-end -end solution for lakehouse architecture they need a more data engineers they need a more data engineers with the PySpark and the sql combination if you're already working in databricks so you'll be already knowing PySpark, you'll be already knowing a sql and maybe already using a snaps analytics same thing which you can use here so this is about just to want to give you introduction and clarity about what is exactly microsoft fabric microsoft fabric then what they are providing and high level information so if you like this video please like and share this video if you're not a sub subscribe please subscribe my channel see you in another video thank you happy weekend